Okay, on West Ferry, what we're looking at doing is the customer wants to put a rain barrel here. Um, but obviously, when the rain barrel overflows, or when it, yeah, when it overflows, uh, I'm guessing the top of the rain barrel is going to have a, a relief where they can run, you know, uh, a pipe, you know, out away from the house because they're getting a lot of water coming in the basement here. Also, we're going to give them a, a number four. What we're going to do is we're going to take that little delivery off the bottom of the funnel, so we can put a three by four spout up there. So we're going to from it from barrowing or from it narrowing down, put a three by four spout down. I got to make sure I can do that. I can't do that. That has to be a two by three. So we're going to go two by three down, and then we're going to end up with a uh, just below that window for the customer to control the mechanism to turn the water either to go in the rain barrel or come down in the spout here. So that's what we're going to do here. Okay, so we actually have to walk around the back of the house uh, on the other street to get to this one here. And okay. so right where the scupper box meets the the uh, the two the gooseneck there, the water spewing out of the gooseneck, which that tree right there is probably filling it up. Yeah. And it will continue to fill it up. So um, that's going to be yeah. We're going to need a 36 foot ladder up here, probably. I don't, even, I don't even know if we can get to this thing. Hang on. So what we'd end up having to do is probably uh, put a ladder on the lower gutter, extend it up, tie off the bottom. One guy is going to have to uh, support the bottom while the other guy gets up there to clean that scupper box out. Uh -huh. it's so do you think it. it's the box or do you think it's the... It's um, going to be both. That box is going to collect it and it's going to feed it right into that downspout. Because... Um, on the third floor, I can go up to the. There's a window right above that. And okay. I can, and I actually you can reach the box. Yeah. From the box. Right. So I'm wondering if it's the interior, if it's the elbow joint. Right. So what we do a lot of times, we'll take and we'll just drop a screw right down, and make sure it comes all the way to the ground. If it stops, we know that something's stopping, oh, it and then I we take it. That. Then we take it apart. Ah, I yeah. should do that. Yeah, you could take something, even a marble. You got a marble or something, just yeah. drop it down. Um, but it's probably, it's probably clogged up at this horizontal part right in here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's backing out. I can see where the uh, where the two elbows, the first two elbows, meet each other. You can see where it's black around the bottom of it, so it's backing up that far. Okay. Um, so I'd imagine the goat, the whole gooseneck is going to have to come apart. Then what we can do is put a little screen in that uh, to at least keep the debris from getting into the downspout. Mm -hmm. um, but you're going to have to clean the scupper box out on a regular basis. But if you can reach That's it from fine. a window up there, that won't be too tough. Yeah, yeah. 